Sports right. Car Clinic. Time what are we talking about today? Well, the, one of the other fluids in a vehicle mm -hmm. is a diesel exhaust fluid, and it's not to lubricate your muffler. Oh. Um, you know, diesel exhaust huh. fluid has uh, been around since about 2014, and what it's designed to do is reduce the amount of uh, nitrates of oxygen in the exhaust of a diesel engine. So uh, this is actually a, uh, a fluid that's... Um, sprayed into the exhaust system to act as a catalyst to knock the ni uh, nitrates of oxygen down, uh, which is a, a, a poisonous exhaust emission. So mm. that's what they're trying to do with it. And it's basically, DEF fluid is about 67% deionized water, which is more of a pure water, uh, and about 32- That's what you would put in your iron- yeah, yeah, to, yeah. Well, okay. Like a well, distilled water. Yeah, but DEF is an acronym of, of... Diesel exhaust fluid. There you go. Okay. I, I missed that. And then uh, 32% uh, is urea. And that is the urea is the catalyst. And that mixture has to be pretty Does good. Does that have anything to do with urine? <laughs> I, I don't know. I've never tried, Don. But Well, no, I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm I asking sincerely. I just, what, what is it? Urea. Uh, it's it's a liquid that's 32% of death fluid. <laughs> there you go. So scientific. Good yeah. to know. Urea. You know, you could use regular water, but the problem with using tap water, like washing a black car, what happens if you don't dry Spots. off? Spots. Of, so all of that uh, mineral in there is going to cause problems inside oh, your death fluid. okay. I got you. So that's why they have to use a distilled or what they call deionized water, because they don't want that um it's corrosive that it's not corrosive but it, it it'll cause it, clogs it, to, it up yeah, like a plaque it'll turn crystal uh, on the oh. injector sprayer and then all the injector sprayers well, i understand that uh, that death fluid is expensive it, it's not outrageously expensive but it does have a shelf life and it, really yeah and in texas the shelf life is short because the heat yeah because of the ambient temperature so um and they tell and and i know this at the dealerships they tell the dealerships, you want to store your DEF fluid in an air-conditioned area, and you want it up off the concrete floor the because the concrete floor is going to um, change temperature greater. Uh, so you want a little airflow around it because the DEF fluid's half-life, the life of the fluid's cut in half uh, every 30 days uh, above 90 degrees. Hmm. And I'm thinking, let's see, I've got a truck, and it's got a, four and a half gallon def tank on it and the def tank is made of that black plastic yeah and my truck sits outside in the heat in texas and you know it's 105 degrees how quickly does that diesel exhaust deteriorate, fluid yeah. deteriorate just sitting in your truck waiting to use well back in the day you know, my dad would have distilled water for filling the battery, battery. Right, right right and you know because of the the corrosive same, same reason reaction. because yeah. Yeah, yeah because you don't want to introduce those minerals into a battery that's going to affect mm -hmm. the performance of the battery. Same thing with the def fluid that crystallization becomes quite a, quite an issue because um, and it can be quite expensive to replace your diesel exhaust fluid. Now if you if you drive a diesel, you know what I'm talking about when you open up the gas cap and there's the green cap, that's where the diesel fluid goes, and then there's the blue cap and that's where the def fluid goes. My issue is they shouldn't be next to each other. They should be in two separate parts of the vehicle because every now and then somebody will put DEF in their diesel or diesel in their DEF, and it's not like mixing chocolate and your peanut butter and peanut butter with your chocolate, which is good. DEF fluid and diesel fluid will destroy uh, an injection system, and diesel fluid in the DEF tank will draw and destroy the DEF injection system, and that can be... You know, five six thousand dollars on the deaf side of things, it can be ten twelve thousand dollars on the diesel side. And if it does, I'm thinking Def Leopard when I hear. I'm thinking Leopard. I was thinking Def Jam. You know, you get things. Okay, are you done yet? So, so again, you know, if you're buying Def fluid, you want to buy fresh and you want to buy often. Wonder how many of our listeners, viewers, actually have diesel engines that that use DEF fluid. So if they've got one that was built after 2014, pretty much all of them have DEF fluid on them. That's what I was thinking, yeah. yeah. You know, Chrysler was the one who came to DEF fluid last. Don't know why, but the Cummings didn't start with diesel exhaust fluid as early as the GMs and the Fords did. 
Oh, design, uh, but research, it's all, development. Yeah, all but it's also the diesel exhaust fluid is not just in what I'll call the automotive diesel, the Duramax, the Power Stroke, and the Cummins. It's also in the off-road stuff. So you actually see DEF fluid that has to be used on Caterpillars and and uh, and Volvo. If they were built after big, 2014. If they were built after 2014. Hmm. So you I'll know, uh, uh, hey, well, look at my new Caterpillar with the tracks on it. Uh, it, was, uh, it was built in 2013, so I don't have to worry about it. But my buddy over here, he bought himself a new one. <laughs> and uh, he's got one at 2020, and uh, it's running just fine. And that dev fluid, it costs a lot of money after yep. a while. Well, o- over time, it does cost. It does cost money. It's not cheap. It's not not nearly as expensive as fuel is. And fuel, you know, fuel is such a volatile price. Diesel fuel, right yeah. Now. Diesel. Right. Hey, uh, quick break now, and we'll be back. 